Shri chapter 18 verse number 66 I believe and we are in OV number 1400 and here we were looking at where are we huh. the verse that is going on is Sarva Dharman Parityajya Mamekam Sharanam Braja Aham Tva Sarva Papebhyo Moksha Yishyami Ma Shuchaha This is that famous verse which is going on and we were looking at what Nyaneshwar Maharaj says He says to that uh, that to become one with me with the loss of one's distinct personality is what is known as surrender to me so when he says Sarva Dharman Parityajya, last, yeah, last class we saw that how Nachiketya, Nachiketya asked that tell me that which is beyond Dharma Adharma. Dharma requires some, some effort and Adharma also is some withdrawal, some involvement, some withdrawal. Here it is being told the very popular meaning of Dharma Adharma is duty or no duty and all that. But here I am taking it as withdrawal and involvement. And uh, Bhagwan is telling here what? Sarva Dharman. Sarva all. Dharma all duties, all responsibilities, all efforts. Uh, parit Tyajya. Tyajya you understand Tyag. Tyag enega amritatva manashuhu. Tyag is to give up. Parit Tyajya. Immediately uh, give, give all up. Don't take any responsibility in the sense recognize that Mame Kam Sharnam Baja and come to surrender at my feet. And what does this come mean that come to surrender at my feet? Is it an ego trip of the Bhagwan? No. Bhagwan he is the efficient and the material cause of the whole creation. If he is all that there is, imagine the water is telling or the Ishwara, the ocean is telling the wave, Sarva Dharman Parityajya, Mame Kam Sharnam Baraya, give up all uh, efforts and come to surrender to me means come to think only of me. So you also give up everything. Don't think about what our, our efforts are only for one thing. What is that? Survival. <laughs> and we want to Ravan wanted to be immortal with the body and we are also looking for immortality only but our approach our focus is on the world meaning what is on the world our attention is on the body so in other words we are also Ravan because we want to be immortal while being in the body which is not possible then what is so, Bhag, so Bhagwan is saying yes this feeling of immortality is good one must aspire towards that but to get to that immortal being or be that immortal being you have to surrender to me it is only by grace that that great disposition or that great being is revealed it is either by the Ishwara's grace or by the grace of the uh, 
आत्मिक सेल्फ विच इज वन एंड द सेम तो सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य मामे कम शरणम व्रज वन हैज टू लूज ऑल पर्सनैलिटी इट कैन बी इट कैन बी द विटनेस इन कॉन्शियसनेस इज टेलिंग द वेकिंग कॉन्शियसनेस एंड द ड्रीम कॉन्शियसनेस एंड द डीप स्लीप कॉन्शियसनेस गिव अप ऑल एफर्ट्स इन द वेकिंग प्लेन ड्रीम प्लेन एंड द स्लीप प्लेन एंड सरेंडर टू मी सो वेकर हैज टू थिंक अबाउट वॉट डज सरेंडर मीन यर वेकर हैज टू थिंक अबाउट कॉन्टम्पलेट ऑन द विटनेस इन कॉन्शियसनेस and that is what we are studying in upanishads and all uh, amrit anubhav etc so whether you take it from from if ishwara is saying this bhagwan is saying this or you apply to the atmic self the language is the same mame kam sharanam raja surrender to me means don't take any responsibility when do you take responsibility you take responsibility before performing an action you take responsibility during while the action is being performed and we have a like or dislike with reference to the result that comes as a result of that action and remember one thing the ego can never perform a perfect action because it itself is born out of corruption <laughs> body identification so how can it perform perfect action if it cannot perform action cannot think of a perfect action it cannot perform a perfect action and cannot get a perfect answer or result also no and that is what ego is trying all the time and and it hits the wall again and again and again and it keep changing from one one effort to the other effort this pursuit to another pursuit this profession to another profession this sadhana to that sadhana this god to that god but it keeps missing the point see this is very important to recognize that ego can never be perfect it is born out of imperfection and what is that imperfection someone tell me what is the imperfection of the ego hello have you all gone to sleep yeah ah. we association with the body very That's good all. very good what are the what else brainstorm what what is the imperfection of the ego someone else yeah so on everything is, happens because of that then you will become no 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 no, no. i'm not talking about yeah. that yeah. ha huh. that is all all those are symptoms so what is the imperfection of the body uh, of the ego first you told it was it is identified with the body body and that's why that's why we see others and, and others and, then and as a as a result all the things begin that otherness sense of a uh, sense of otherness differences etc etc okay second uh, imperfection of the ego is that it appears but actually it is not this is the imperfection it's it, it's it's a phenomenal it's it's result of certain circumstances but when you go to look for the ego you will never find the ego so that's another perfection because perfect something that is perfect has to be constant has to be continuous ego is not continuous see so until unless and what does ego want ego want, is associating with the world with the body and it also wants to be continuous but it doesn't know how so here bhagwan is saying it's okay you want to be continuous you want to be mortal but that is only possible when you surrender to me means you but what will happen by as a result of surrender the result of surrender the ego will vanish and in its place uh, the ishwaratva ishwaratva will be uh, manifesting meaning the infinite will manifest in the place of individuality see so uh, 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 that, that is sarva dharman parityajya mame kam sharanam vraja 
just as Nyaneshwar Maharaj says, just as with the destruction of the earthen pot, the space within it becomes merged in Akash. So when you consider surrender yourself to me, you will become united with me, united to me. See how beautiful. This is an example coming from the Bhashya and uh, uh, Shankar Bhashya uh, uh, and in the Upanishads also it comes. And what is that? I think I covered this last week, but okay, recap. A pot, there is a pot, an earthen pot, a clay pot and that clay pot is, what is the space inside the pot called? It is called pot space. Now, when the pot breaks into smithereens, what happens to the space within? Does it also break up when the pot breaks up? No. Then what happens to the space? Does it move? Does it cover a distance? Does it cover a distance? Someone said something? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Good. And yet everything happens. Add the other part. Yes. <laughs> because when the pot breaks, the space, uh, it doesn't travel any distance to merge into the total space. There is no union of uh, uh, the, that the pot space got separated from the, in the total space and now it is reuniting with the total space. So, nothing like this happens, isn't it? Exactly is the case Bhagwan is saying, Mame kam sharanam raja. If you surrender to me, uh, come uh, surrender at my feet, uh, then when this body breaks up, and that is a, a, a you know given conclusion that one day this body is going to go out of existence. When this body goes out of existence, what is making this body alive? Is it inert space or is it the conscious space? It is the conscious space. This conscious space will, will it travel any distance to merge back into it? Uh, uh, we, we use the word, it will go back to the source, it will merge into the Bhagwan, etc, etc. Bhagwan is also using it here. But we know just as space within the pot and space outside the pot is one and the same and there is no movement, there is no distance travelled. The moment pot breaks, the, the space inside is the total uh, total space. Exactly the same way. Sharnam Braja means that the conscious space within this pot called the body, when this body breaks up, at that very moment, the conscious space within is <laughs> transforms or uh, gets because the identification with the body is released. released or is no more, at that very moment it discovers itself to be the infinite consciousness. This cannot, there is no process here for the individual mind to work it out. There is no working out here. But it is being given as an example of the pot space and the total space. So Bhagwan says, it becomes merged in Akash. So when you surrender yourself to me, you will be, you will become united with me. Just as a gold bead merges into the gold or the wave dissolves into the uh, water, you surrender yourself to me and attain perfect unity. Again, another example that comes to my mind here is, just as when we merge into the sleep at night. The waker merges into the sleep at night or is absorbed. In other words, what is he doing? He is seeking to surrender at the altar of sleep every night, isn't it? Why? How does he do it? You use this sentence, Ananyas chintayanto maam ye jana paryupasate means exclusively think about me, the Bhagwan is saying. Here, what do you do every night? Exclusively without any distraction our focus is on the sleep then sleep takes over and when sleep takes over is there the ego there is there the individuality is there the body identification is there the differences is there the sense of otherness nothing is available you become free of all conditionings do you know there is space time objectivity no 
सो एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग यू आर वन विद द रियालिटी एक्जैक्टली द सेम वे भगवान इज सो दिस इज वॉट अवर प्रैक्टिस इज दैट वेन वी आर surrendering at the feet of the lord or when we are contemplating on the atmic self at that time our 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 surrender should be so oh, absorbing it should be so complete it should we must abandon ourselves at him at his mercy that there is no option in the mind for the mind to go somewhere else that focus should be there see so uh, the uh, bhagwan says here uh, just as the gold merges when the gold melts the form of the ornament goes away the gold go, gold remains gold <laughs> when the wave loses its form what it what is remaining behind is it the individual water do you call oh this water is the individual wave water no all that is remaining behind was is the infinite waters in fact it was before also it was infinite waters during the expression of the wave also it was infinite waters and after the form of the wave goes away still it is infinite waters then what is a wave only name and form who are you if you consider yourself to the body it is only name and form what is this name and form only a phenomenal expression manifestation and what is phenomenal man- manifestation in sanskrit it is called mithya mithya means that which appears but actually is not there oh <laughs> you are taking away the, the that means all this is unreal yes oh, how can you say that Where, what happened to your oh, husband or wife or children or house or income and your beautiful body in the dream the moment you wake up you give it zero value so why you are afraid now are you are you wanting to remain uh, entangled in this or are you looking for eternal survival <laughs> everyone is looking for eternal survival that is immortality so bhagwan is saying you come to me stop worrying about everything else mame kam sharanam raja and just as the space is the total space in essence just as the gold in the ornament is the total gold in essence just as the wave water in the individual wave is actually the infinite waters similarly the consciousness that is in this body is nothing but the infinite consciousness there is no merging somewhere there is no movement somewhere of this consciousness which you see in the movies then in the last thought he says here that you surrender yourself to me and attain perfect unity with me in fact this is only a language of communication that you attain perfect unity with me we are ever perfectly united with ourselves there has never been a moment in our existence that we have ever separated from the pure consciousness that we are there has never been a, even a moment that a daughter sister wife has ever become divorced from the woman or brother husband son has become divorced from the man so they have always been man you have always been woman similarly we have always been the infinite consciousness the trick is to today swami ji was also telling in the last class when we are doing the shama dhamma uparama tetiksha etc the trick is to become committed to purifying the mind to become making the mind zero removing all multiplicity from the mind in a systematic manner be committed to that initially and then you will find that whether there is thoughts coming or not coming it does not matter if you can catch it right now it is good here we are reading that you are already the infinite <laughs> so if we can catch it good but we don't again we start but how but why but when <laughs> and then lose the plot now we continue with the 1400 1400 uh, i have to take out the next verse one moment one moment ah huh? ह 
हाँ ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज से द थॉट इज कंटिन्यूइंग वाचुनी सागराच्या पोटी वडवा नडू शरण आला किरीटी जाळूनी ठाके तया गोठी वाळूनी दे पा मजही शरण रि रिघिजे आणि जीवत्वेची असिजे धिगवा धिग बोली या न ले ले लजे प्रज्ञा केवी अगा प्रकृता ही राया आंगी पडे जे धनंजया ते दासिरू ही किम दया समान होय मी मी मा मी विश्वेश्वरू भेटे आणि जीव ग्रंथी न सुटे हे बोल नको वो कठे का नीलहू म्हणवनी मी होऊनी माते सेवणे आहे आई ते ते करी हाता ये दे ज्ञाने येणे ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज से झ द मरीन फायर द यर द वर्ड ही इज यूज इज द वडवा नळ वडवा नळ इज द फायर इन द वॉटर्स इन दू नो दॉल केनोज ऑर वॉट एव्हर सो दॅट ही सेज द द द मरीन फायर सरेंडर इज सेल्फ टू द सी इट हॅज गोट नो चॉईस the moment it comes very quickly it is it surrenders itself to the sea uh, but burns but burns it but burns it so give up the idea of surrendering to me and still retaining your separate individuality so first he said sarva dharman parityajya first he said mame kam sharanam vraja then he said this fire of focus and everything it will get dissolved in the total consciousness where is, when is the fire when is the fire created where there is friction <laughs> isn't it but is that when the fire is created in the fire, uh, waters is it able to burn the fire waters no the, in fact the water uh, di- diffuses it the cortical pulls it down exactly same way where we the more we become focused on the divine the more we are contemplating on the divine the heat is generated but as we come closer and closer to the divine because we think that he is separate to us he is saying don't think that you are separate to me <laughs> but in that friction how to work it out the heat is generated but it is cooled down by the infinite consciousness because co infinite consciousness or divine consciousness is the coolest thing that there is ha <laughs> ananda swarup is the coolest thing so in that sense you take it he says where are we ha uh, uh, and still retaining your separate individuality how is it possible for anyone to surrender to me and still retain individual existence dif- distinct from me the moment wave starts looking at wants to surrender to the waters or the ocean it loses its identity and real recognizes discovers itself to be the ocean or the infinite waters at that very moment exactly the same way this individuality which is making the effort of surrender at the feet of the lord mame kam sharanam vraja when that surrender happens just like the individual waker is surrendering to sleep when that surrender takes place when that union so called union takes place waker is no more the individuality as a waker is no more not even a trace of it exactly the same way now think of the to- we were we are talking only about the waker but think of the total consciousness when we are contemplating on the total consciousness or in the bhakti marg we are contemplating on the ishwara when you are in love with it and want to be a, take on over by him enough now abhi bahut ho gaya thak gaya abhi is duniya mein and when it takes over then will the individual seeker be left behind to know what that union has taken place no that very moment there is no individuality whatsoever not even a trace of it 
and that is the consummation that is the immortality bhagwan is assuring he is giving assurance sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam va mamekam sharanam vraja see how ab itna assurance hone ke baad itna insurance dene ke baad <laughs> after giving this insurance also still we don't want to uh, uh, become available to him 100% you know still we want to hold on but my body but my weight but my disease but my uh, everything my 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 so here bhagwan says that uh, is it possible for anyone to surrender to me and still retain individual existence distinct from me after surrender there is no distinction possible there is no sense of otherness possible right now as a seeker i feel bhagwan is separate to me and the infinite consciousness na uh, is separate to me today only someone came and said oh, 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 when will it happen to me when will the realization happen to me in the one of the breaks today when will this happen swami ji please bless are yaar kitni bar bolenge ki ब्लेस करने से ये नहीं आता इट इज योर जर्नी टू योर सेल्फ उद्धरे रेज योर सेल्फ बाय योर सेल्फ इन योर सेल्फ फॉर योर सेल्फ द ओनली हियर इट इज नॉट सेड यूज रेज योर सेल्फ बाय डूइंग शमा रेज योर सेल्फ बाय डूइंग दमा रेज योर सेल्फ बाय डूइंग उपरमा इट इज नॉट सेड इट सेड रेज योर सेल्फ बाय योर सेल्फ फॉर योर सेल्फ सो द ओनली सपोर्ट इज सेल्फ that is atman <coughs> so what we because apne ko khush liye hai we keeps looking at something else because we are not ready to surrender we are afraid of surrendering also but this is an unfounded fear why because every night we know how to surrender to sleep we don't know what sleep is yet we surrender every night अब भगवान के बारे में तो यू लव भगवान यू एंजॉय हिज फॉर्म यू एंजॉय हिज इंफिनिट्यूड देन वेन यू लव हिम इफ यू कैन सरेंडर टू समथिंग दैट यू डोंट नो विच इज स्लीप वाई इज इट सो डिफिकल्ट टू सरेंडर टू भगवान बिकॉज यू हैव डाटा हेयर दैट नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग यू गेट अप वेन यू सरेंडर टू भगवान देर इज नो गेटिंग अप इट इज फाइनल गेटिंग अप उसके बाद उसके बाद ना बहन ना भाई ना माँ ना बाप दे विल बी ऑल दे बट द इंडिविजुअलिटी इज मिसिंग फॉर देम दे विल सी एन इंडिविजुअल बट यू आर मर्ज इन टू द डिवाइन दैट मीन्स दिस इज हाउ द महात्मा फंक्शन दे सी so what is how is a uh, experience come experiencer experienced and experiencing is going on so experienced and experiencing is there but experience is missing experience has merged into the divine other two are going on in the for others not for you for others but the owner of the experience is missing seeing is going on eyes are there but the seer is missing <laughs> कैसे होता होगा हाउ हाउ इट मस्ट बी यू स्टार्ट ट्राइंग दिस आउट वेरी क्विकली समन विल पुट यू इन टू मेंटल असाइलम सो हिस इज हिस इज दैट हाउ कैन देर बी अ सेपरेट एग्जिस्टेंस आफ्टर सरेंडरिंग टू मी भगवान इज सेइंग नाउ ही पुट्स अनदर पॉइंट फॉरवर्ड एंड ही सेज दैट fee upon the such talk how does one not feel ashamed to talk like this how does one feel how does fee means dikkare dikkare get away from here i don't want to listen to all this because bhagwan is only talking what he, what people talk that they want abhi that's what i was making the point that after surrendering there is no individuality possible after surrendering to sleep individuality again comes back because it's only temporary lull in the individuality the manifestation has become unmanifest you have not transcended 
यू अंडरस्टैंड सरेंडर मीन्स ट्रांसेंडेंस ट्रांसेंडेंस आप समझते हो गोइंग बियॉन्ड मैनिफेस्टेशन एंड अनमैनिफेस्टेशन सो इन वेन वी सरेंडर टू स्लीप ऑल वी आर डूइंग इज बिकॉज वी हैव अ डाटा अवेलेबल दैट वी बिकम रेस्टफुल वी बिकम रिजुअनेटेड एंड वी नो दैट आफ्टर एवरी स्लीप आई वेक अप now we are thinking that after merging into god i'll come back into the same world are baba then i am not surrendering <laughs> then i am not surrendering <laughs> i will not come back what will happen to my children what will happen to my family what will happen to my responsibility what will happen to my business do you worry about that with the family in the sleep uh, dream no then why you are worried here ye sochne wali baatein hain to bhagwan is saying dikka rahe aise vicharon ke upar it's not worth even talking about who have these type of thoughts so he says fee upon such persons where is it upon such talk how does one not feel ashamed to talk like this sharam nahi aati aise baat karte hue bhagwan ke bare you are talking about surrender to god and then you are talking about coming back into the world again क्या देर आर पीपल ओ आई हैड दर्शन ऑफ द गॉड मेरे को हनुमान जी ने दर्शन दिए मुझे नारायण भगवान ने दर्शन दिए उसके बाद क्या होता है क्योंकि अपने पुराणों में स्टोरीज भी है ध्रुव महाराज ही मेडिटेटेड ध्रुव की स्टोरी पता है ही मेडिटेटेड भगवान आए भगवान के बट ही डिड नॉट सर ही he thought of the lord with a reason he didn't do it for surrender he did it to sit on the lap of his father and then bhagwan ke darshan ho gaye bhagwan ke darshan hone ke after having the vision of the lord lord is standing in front of him he saying ask that time he could have asked ki bhai make me one with you let it all be over but that young boy did not have the discrimination he still thinking about the lap of his father because that's the intention with which he started his sadhana so be very careful with what intention you start your sadhana when you become to a class with what intention you come to the class when you go to a temple with what intention you go to the temple when you wake up in the morning with what intention that intention will determine your whole mood of the day or your activities of the day so our intention is to surrender to the lord but he did not surrender dhruv so being very because coming lord standing in front of him it is the divine presence he his mind becomes stopped and he says lord you know you are the all knower what can i ask i don't want to ask anything you know everything he says yeah i know you started with this intention <laughs> that you wanted to sit on the lap of your father now i am your father so you sit in my lap so he gave him the place in the ध्रुव तारा जो बोलते हैं ना ही गेव द प्लेस बट हैविंग दर्शन ऑफ द गॉड डिड नॉट मेक हिम इन टू अ बेटर पर्सन ही वेंट बैक टू बी द किंग एंड देन हिज द ट्राइबल्स इन हिज आउटस्कर्ट्स ऑफ हिज किंगडम दे किल्ड हिज यंगर ब्रदर एंड ही वेंट एंड मैसेकेर्ड एवरी वन इन द ट्राइबल पीपल दैट टाइम नारद मुनि कम्स and he says dhruv does it seem good that you who has had the darshan of the lord are committing such cru- cruelty one person must have killed your or few people must have killed your brother you punish them but not the entire uh, uh, clan and then he renounces there and then he renounces the kingdom he puts his son there and goes away to he says yes that is right <laughs> not there and then some there is a story a little bit but eventually he goes away to question this story is not to uh, no, to to we have to learn from it and then apply on ourselves what is the intention with which we move around in this world is it to prove something is it to secure something is it to survive are we in the survival mode or are we whatever is going on is going on and our attention is on being the sakshi chaitanya that we are the witnessing consciousness see 
or our attention is always on the divine so here bhagwan is saying that when uh, uh, where are we uh, how does not one feel ashamed to talk like this oh dhananjay even a rustic maid who succeeds in winning the love of a prince is raised to his status hmm? a mere maid a dasi who falls in love with the uh, uh, prince and the prince falls in love with her she is raised to the status of queen we know this our satyavati was one you know the shantanu's uh, wife from whom the uh, uh, the entire pandava clan Pandu. began so she was a fisher woman fisher. but she became the maharani of uh, kauravas see and here we are we are also das of who of lord and we are thinking of him and raising ourselves only to become an individual again only to come back acha after i get married now i'll continue being the das is it possible it is equal to i will surrender to the lord and after realization i'll continue with my individuality hey stupid fellow it's not possible so that is what bhagwan is telling here that don't they feel ashamed to even think like that ki baad mein kya hoga hamari family ka kya hoga हमारे बच्चों का क्या होगा हमारे इन्वेस्टमेंट्स का क्या होगा <laughs> कितनी कितनी जगह पे हमारा दिमाग जाता है पर ये नहीं पता हम वी डोंट थिंक इट इन इन दिस मैनर दैट एज मच एज द ड्रीम प्लेन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस इज अ मिथ्या अपियरेंस अ मैनिफेस्टेशन अ फिनोमिना दैट मच दिस वेकिंग प्लेन आल्सो इज द ओनली थिंग इज वेकिंग प्लेन इज सात्विक एवरीथिंग इज ए लिटिल बिट स्लो सो इट सीम्स टू बी मोर रियल but actually the status of waking and the status of dream is exactly the same which is it is appearing while not appearing it is mithya mithya jagat mithya anubhav the status of the dreamer and the waker is exactly the same both exist in their own absence dekho so that's what bhagwan is telling and nyaneshwar maharaj is telling now he says do not na o dhananjay even a rustic maid who succeeds in winning the love of a prince is raised to his status do not lend your ears to the ind abominable talk that when a person attains to me who am the lord of the universe his knots do not get snapped so bhagwan is telling don't listen to such people that once you surrender to me after that uh, the world is still real you still have to do your duties you still have to do your uh, you know on the living people talk like that who are these people they are the karma kandis <laughs> yeah, they are, they are incapable of raising themselves unke dimag mein aata hi nahi aise because they have to we have so addicted to karma 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 means a doer has to be there to do karma what we are doing that there is only one karta and who is that karta bhagwan who is that karta the atmic principle in his presence all doing and not doing is in nachiket in katopanishad ask the same question just reminding again and again because it's so fresh anyatra dharmat anyatra dharmat अस्मात अन्यत्र अस्मात कृता कृता वॉट इज दैट विच इज आई वॉन्ट टू नो दैट विच इज अदर देन धर्म धर्म दैट विच इज अदर देन डूइंग एंड नॉट डूइंग सी सो विच इज आई वॉन्ट टू गो बियॉन्ड डूअर एंड नॉट डूअर ये नहीं कि इन द डीप स्लीप यू आर द नॉट डूअर इन द वेकिंग एंड ड्रीम यू आर द डूअर आई वॉन्ट टू गो बियॉन्ड आई वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसेंड अन्यत्र अस्मा अन्यत्र भूत भव्याच वॉट इज दैट विच इज अदर देन पास्ट एंड फ्यूचर सो हियर सो सेम थॉट इज गेटिंग रिपीटेड हियर और इज बींग रिफ्लेक्टेड हियर भगवान इज सेंग दैट दैट इफ यू लैंड योर इयर्स टू सच पीपल हू 
say there is nothing called realization you have to be only the das of the lord you have to only serve the lord all that is good but this understanding is incomplete if not uh, looked at in a wholesome way the wholesome way is look at it in this way with these examples so to uh, these examples not giving you any solution but they are giving you uh, an angle of approach towards this infinite consciousness so just like the gold in the ornament is always the infinite gold the way water in the wave is always the infinite waters exactly the same way the individual consciousness in essence is always the infinite consciousness and if people say that after having realized the consciousness you have to still do the hard yaka in life and keep working nothing wrong but there is no doer there then he says when a seeker identifies himself with me and renders service to me it constitution devotion to me then act in such a way that you will attain knowledge through devotion hey this is this is our our swami ji also says that and our scriptures also say that the acme of devotion is knowledge and the acme of knowledge is devotion so with our right now we are understanding if this is inspiring us to continuously remember the lord before the action during the action and after the uh, action then we are in the right place we are in the right uh, intention our intention is correct today swami ji was also saying that the third chapter of bhagavad gita tells you about the attitude you keep refining the attitude this is that what i told in the other talk the other day So that's what Bhagwan is also saying. Correct your attitude. Keep refining your attitude from tamasic to rajasic, rajasic to satvic, satvic to transcendental. Contemplate on the transcendental. So here he says, when when a seeker identifies himself with me, when you identify yourself with me, naturally the qualities of the Lord will start percolating through this person, and they'll start manifesting through him. Such ma such persons are called Mahatmas. Namdev Namdev Maharaj used to be like that, and many other Mahatmas for that matter. Satya Sai Baba is like that. Shirdi Sai Baba was like that. Huh? So because they have so at one meant with the divine principle, that what is divine, all knowing, always existing, always blissful. nothing is impossible everything is included nothing is excluded and yet nothing is a memory that is a mahatma that is the divine that's how the mahatma becomes and therefore when such a mahatma moves around in the world we say oh my god he is extraordinary but all he has done is become the most ordinary thing extraordinary is when you carve out a separate identity for yourself extraordinary is an ornament is gold extraordinary no gold is just gold <laughs> ordinary so parmatma or the infinite consciousness it's ordinary when you become an individual become then you are creating specific specific expression that is extraordinary <laughs> ki yaar इनफाइनाइट होते हुए भी ये इंडिविजुअल बन गया क्या बात है भगवान भी कहेंगे नमस्कार नमस्कार अलग तरीके सोचने की सोच है ये तो भगवान इज सेइंग कि देन एक्ट इन सच अ वे दैट यू विल अटेन नॉलेज थ्रू डिवोशन तो देन यू मोल्ड योर सेल्फ इन योर डेली लाइफ इन सच अ मैनर दैट एवरी मोमेंट द डिवाइन इज रिमेंबर्ड your mind is surrendering to the divine your mind is thinking of the divine when you interact with people see them as an expression of the divine if knowledge now we are in 18th chapter if knowledge has been gained in over the chapters as to what the parmatma or the or what the self is then now take that self or the parmatma to be the common denominator of everything the whole world is nothing but that parmatma here also the consciousness is nothing but the parmatma 
सर व्हाट अबाउट द बॉडी पर बॉडी केम इन द सेम वर्ल्ड नो विच वी सेड इज परमात्मा वी फर्गेट दैट वी फर्गेट दैट वी से हाँ वर्ल्ड ये सर वी नेवर टेक दिस बॉडी टू बी पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बट इन वेन वी टेक वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द वर्ल्ड इट्स नॉट ओनली दिस बॉडी दिस बॉडी दिस ब्रेथ दिस माइंड दिस इंटेलेक्ट एवरीथिंग कम्स इन दैट वर्ल्ड एंड वॉट इज कॉन्शियसनेस कॉन्शियसनेस इज ऑलवेज कॉन्शियसनेस चैतन्य वस्तु सो यू आर द चैतन्य विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस बॉडी दिस फॉर्म दिस ब्रेथ दिस माइंड दिस इंटेलेक्ट and this body breath mind intellect is part of that world the whole world exists sat and you are the chit and when the whole world unmanifests then sat and chit are one because you exist they are coming and going but do you feel you are coming and going no so you are that sat chit jaisi the moment existence and consciousness become one as swami ji has written the new book knowing is being being is sat knowing is chit that very moment ha ha hu hu anand ya anand kaun sa anand parmanand <laughs> then parmanand paramanand is not tini mini anand is <laughs> not tini mini is not little anand it's infinite bliss but for that to express sat and chit have to be recognized as or have to be one it's not have to be they are always one but we surrender to that parmatma to that bhagwan to that infinite consciousness which is by nature satchidanand swarup the process to go there is what we have told here bhagwan is saying through surrender today's class we are seeing it through the example i gave was so much here nyaneshwar maharaj also said through pot and ornament and water same example continuing continuing ah uh, where are we 1406 मगता कौनिया काढ़िले लोणी मागवते ताकी घातले परीन घेपे चिको काही केले तेणे जेवी तैसे अद्वयत्वे मज शरण रिघालिया तुझ धर्मा धर्म हे सहज लागतील ना लोह उभे खाय माती ते परी साची हे संगती सोने झालया पुढती नशी विजे मळे मळे हे असो काष्टा पासोनी मथुनी घेतलिया वन्ही मग काष्टे ही कोंडोनी नठके जैसा अर्जुना काय दिन करू देखत आहे अंधारू की प्रबोधी होय गोचरू स्वप्न भ्रमू ज्ञाने ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज से इन द वन फोर जीरो सिक्स ओ वी जस्ट एज बटर ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम चर्निंग बटर मिल्क डज नॉट मिक्स विद इट सो वेन यू सरेंडर टू मी विद द नॉलेज ऑफ यूनिटी विद मी देन यू विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड विद रिलीजियस और इर रिलीजियस एक्ट रिलीजियस इर रिलीजियस एक्ट अन्यत्र धर्मात अन्यत्र धर्मात सब घूम फिर के वही आ जाता है हाउ and this is the pap this is the pap sarva papebya aham aham ta sarva papebya moksha ashme i will relieve you i will release you from all the pap this is the pap what who does this pap the individual you dis, you don't stop doing dharma but you will discover that you are not the doer others will see you are doing and not doing but you are as an individual you are no longer what how how will it be how can i be not individual and yet be functioning ha ah, get there and find out and tell me also <laughs> get there this is not something we can communicate and yet you are experiencing you are not a individual hand but you are the one who is pervading the whole body hai ki nahi you are not only pervading your nose but you are pervading the whole body imagine you are not only pervading this body you are pervading the whole universe with all beings past present future 
too much responsibility <laughs> but then there is no when that happens there is no owner ishwar also does not own the past present future of all beings ishwar does not say i'm going to punish you for all the bad deeds that you did i'm going to bless you for all the good deeds that you did. he doesn't say that he sends yamraj for doing that he himself doesn't do anything just like the sun it tell you it gives light that's all good people are also there bad people are also there good deeds are happening your satsang is happening somewhere else someone is stealing something that is also happening so sun is not affected but yet this phenomena is going on so similarly for the wise man also once he realizes he is once he has surrendered and realized the supreme infinite being as the self from there onwards he is in this disposition so here bhagwan is telling that just as butter obtained from churning buttermilk does not mix with it meaning it does not go back to the buttermilk you cannot mix it back churning kiya apne churning uh, the, the uh, churning and after that the butter has come out the cream of the buttermilk the essence of the buttermilk is the butter now you say na yaar i don't want to eat butter i want the buttermilk now can you mix the butter back into the butter not possible so what is buttermilk this world and you have churned your mind the ch- churning is going on and you have discovered the butter what is the butter you have surrendered to the lord you have contemplated on the self uddharet atman atmanam you have come to know yourself that i am of the nature of immortality i am the nectar of uh, amrut anubhav you know the divine nectar amrut anubhav amrut is the nectar now after discovering that you are the infinite one can you go back to the world not possible as much as the world may want to pull you in yani tum butter ko leke uske pani ke andar dubo do phir wo upar aa jayega wo rukega hi nahi niche by nature it is always floating it doesn't sink same way a mahatma never sinks back into the world it happens but we have to put the efforts na initially a churning so what we are doing in satsang with swami ji we are churning is going on he is doing the churning for us we have to just be available or here bhagwan is saying mamekam sharanam vraja you think about me here it is not told which bhagwan in what manner with form or no form he has told all that now in 18th chapter we must be very clear so you sir you keep his thought all the time in your mind that is that this atma alone is the parmatma this atma alone is the this this consciousness is alone the infinite consciousness how is that you keep working towards it that is what satsang is and once you discover once it reveals that means the butter has started floating the result of churning thereafter there is no going back into the world urvarukameva bandhana मृत्यो मुक्षेमृतमी विद नॉलेज ऑफ वेरावी जस्ट एज बटर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम चर्निंग बटर मिल्क डज नॉट मिक्स विद इट सो वेन यू सरेंडर टू मी विद द नॉलेज ऑफ यूनिटी विद मी देन यू विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड विद रिलीजियस और इ रिलीजियस एक्ट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वेन यू यूनाइट विद मी Uh, where when you surrender to me with the knowledge of unity with to me this intention is very important if the intention is that i am surrendering to you lord because i want to become the richest person on the planet then tathastu if some people want to take, do the japa ayo mari o mari o mari o mari o mind in the back of the mind let my child get married let my child get married let my daughter get married let my son get married let this happen let that happen let the new car come let the house happen blah 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 and very single pointedly they are chanting the name of the lord that single pointed attention on the lord will make that result come true but it will not lead to surrender so here bhagwan is very clearly telling that when you 
when you make yourself available to the infinite being or the infinite consciousness as I, there should be no corruption in between. The only thought is that Aham Brahmasmi, I am that, I am that infinite, I am that immaculate Atmic Self which is uncorrupted ever and ever and ever. With that bhava and with that focus or with that availability, you surrender. A little bit correction, corruption, you will become a Ravan. <laughs> he was also master of the three worlds. Well versed with scriptures, more than you and me. Well versed with scriptures. Even the Lord of the time, all the sun, all the planets, all the devtas, in the, everyone was under his, he used to tie them to his bed. All the uh, Navagraha, they were tied to his bed. See? But he wanted to be immortal with the body. So don't become a Ravan. <laughs> huh? And that is what is called as body disidentification. So what is the body? We are not saying we are separating ourselves from the body. We are, we are making our focus is we are so much in love with the infinite self with proper understanding that the thought of the body doesn't even come in our mind. Just like we are so in love with surrender to the sleep that the thought of the body doesn't come in your mind and it drops away. That is, that's how it should happen. It's Sahaj. You don't have to remove the body. Urva Rukameva. And what remains behind is the infinite self. Aham Dva Sarva Papebhya. When this pap of individuality, the pap of duality, the pap of multiplicity, the pap of religious or religious acts. What is religious religious? Some people used to say, Hamishi, uh, uh, they, they, say, they used to say, uh, Swamiji, do you do Japa? I said, yes. When do you get up? When do you do? In those days, I used to do all the time. Even now, I keep doing it. So where? I said, everywhere. Uh, you don't take shower and then do it? I said, no, I take during shower also, before shower also, <laughs> on the toilet seat also, uh, brushing my teeth also, walking also. Oh, we papa, 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 papa. <laughs> On the toilet seat, you take Bhagwan's name. I say, what's wrong? <coughs> but this is not to be advertised. You do it in your own private space. You, you, if you are comfortable with it, why we have to disturb other people? But if someone asks the question, then they will get it. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> You will not be affected with religious or irreligious. Then you will. Then the fear of going to heaven or hell, the desire to go to heaven or the fear of not going to hell will get deleted from your mind, because we are committed to the infinite. See? So don't try to remove or don't try to improve the religious acts. Just try to surrender to the Lord. Think of the union that at this very moment, this consciousness is the infinite conscious and start working in your mind. How is it possible? So automatically everything that you have heard or studied in various satsang, it will start percolating in and move in that direction. For him, we are, uh, 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 procrastinators. Asha, I will do this contemplation uh, after I have taken shower. <laughs> I will do this contemplation uh, if uh, hunger uh, is going to be lunch time. If I, uh, after food, then I will do it. After food, no, after sleep, I will do it. After, no, again, after shower, I will do it. Then after coffee, I will do it. Oh, no. We keep postponing, keep postponing. Or maybe there is fear of the irreligious or religious acts. But one becomes totally immune because once we have the individual has surrendered to the infinite, you are like a mirror. If someone abuses you, you are not there to receive it. It will bounce and go back to the person who sent it. 
if someone tries to kill you are not there it will go back there were uh, uh, i'm just giving some example so you get some idea that there is no owner there buddha was going around mahavir gautam buddha was moving around and uh, the angulimal came with the you 108th finger he wanted then his tapasya is complete and he said oh this fellow looks good young good i'll take and he lifted his hand but buddha is completely he is in nirvan he is completely absorbed in the self he lifted his hand up and his hand only didn't come down did buddha say don't hand don't come down no in his presence just like in the presence of sun the darkness goes away in the presence of a, a, a great master like that ill will cannot stand on the way even our amma ji amrita nandmai ma her brother wanted to kill him kill her he called her to her room called to her room four people five people were there she went in they took took the sword to cut hand did not come down and one year later the brother died because the intention what was the intention to kill to kill whom to his sister who is having young disciples but who is this is from sister's point of view from ammachi point of view? where is she she is one with the infinite there is no brother there is no uh, student she is just with herself so she is empty so the the evil act got reflected in the empty mirror of the mind and went back to it and this is what happens so such a person bhagwan is giving him assurance that don't worry about it and that for therefore masters are not worried about the world what will the world say or not say they are established in them kande ye thoda sa karke complete kar dete hain ha where are we ha then you will not be affected with religious or irreligious acts when iron gets rusted it is reduced to dust but once it comes into contact with the philosopher stone it is transformed into gold and does not get rusted again uh, so here one example is taken that the, 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 the that a uh, rusted iron keeps disintegrating and becomes uh, powder but when it is philosopher stone is a mythological it's a is that a divine stone what is this uh, rust what is this iron ha huh? iron is iron is who is rusting who is become who is disintegrating body is disintegrating <laughs> bones are disintegrating ha huh? organs are disintegrating the white black hair are becoming white this is called rusting <laughs> but the rusted iron is uh, it's not useful but the moment it when this rusting body this rusting mind this rusted intellect comes in contact with the philosopher stone who is this philosopher stone the infinite consciousness that very moment a new rejuvenation happens and what is that rejuvenation that everything is sachidanand swarup that there is no body for such a person everything is sachidanand swarup that is the transformation when another example he takes when fire is kindled by rubbing one moment let me find out the next page one two three four five ah with the sticks against each other it no longer remains confined in them every wood every piece of wood has the fire inherent within it we can't see it but when the two sticks are rubbed together ah huh? like in the arni or in the aborigines in australia they take the two sticks you can buy them then they rub the sticks and you know, the the heat the the cotton wool is uh, burned the, the, and the fire is uh, generated so 
once it it no longer remains so that fire which is inherent within the wood when it expresses out as the result of friction it it is not only in that wood it is passed on to many other things isn't it same way or juna the sun cannot see darkness or a person after waking up is not deluded by his dream so just like the sun cannot see darkness just like the fire does not remain confined to the two sticks it spreads the heat in the fire does not remain only in the wood that is burning you go near the fire you feel the heat it spreads everywhere for quite a distance depends upon the uh, the extent of its uh, influence now bigger fire is the sun so we are feeling is its heat but also the other other example that is taken here is that from sun's point of view there is no darkness to be removed in other words from the self point of view there is no ignorance to be removed ignorance just as from sun's point of view no there is no no gyan or agyan present there is no day and night oh i am doing such a altruistic job of giving light so that the whole world can do its job and removing darkness thank you bhagwan bhagwan surya bhagwan says oh, what is darkness i don't know what is light i don't know see exactly the same way from the infinite conscious self point of view there is no gyan or agyan there is no once one is established in it surrenders to it then uski jo abha hai its influence it spread starts spreading and anyone who comes into the periphery into the uh, the sphere of influence of that uh, of that uh, realized master gets affected just like you get affected with swami ji <laughs> ha eh? the moment we come into his presence we feel that coming of the mind now we are in tiruvannamalai we feel just when we come and see the uh, arunachala immediately you open the window you can see it ha eh? so th- that is the influence because so many tapasvis have meditated here the moment you enter into the raman ashram and go near the samadhi even though the body is no longer but that infinite consciousness which ramana maharishi realized himself to be that is always it cannot be no it is not here it is only there it can it is infinite and that that with, with some people think it is only in uh, this plane some people say it is only in uh, this room some people think they go with that type of thinking therefore i am giving these examples but if you have the belief that you are the infinite then infinitely the 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 the, the what do you call it? the influence will spread just like suns and anyone from the suns point of view there is no day and night from the master's point of view realized master the one who has surrendered from his point of view there is no world there is no world he is only self alone eyes are seeing but there is no seer remember i told you that so he is going through everything but no owning accepting everything rejecting nothing retaining nothing no vasanas created no impressions created no data to be re- deleted again see then when such a person is there then his his you call it vibrate some people call it vibrations some people call it the influence some call it the here is the example nyaneshwar maharaj is taking the the expanse of the heat it affects other people or the fire spreads exactly the same way the presence of a master affects every one and all who comes into his contact and you don't even have to come in contact the moment you think because he is infinite bhagwan is infinite the moment you think that very moment he is ever established in sachidanand swarup the moment you think of him the whatever sachidanand stands for that infinite continuous conscious existence which is blissful in nature 
which is everywhere it starts percolate you get affected by it om purnamada purnamedam purnat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hi hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om Just sit quietly for a moment. <laughs> 